All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be talking about this RDA right here. I'm pretty excited to talk about this RDA. This is the Reverie RDA made by uh, Times Vape and Mr. Stan Tenacious TX Vapes. He did that Lucid RDA, which look, if, if I'm being real honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the Lucid RDA, but he did also do that Dreamer mech, which has eventually become one of my favorite mechs mods I mean ever that I you I just use it constantly so I had pretty high hopes when I heard that Stan was doing a single coil squonk atomizer I had a feeling it would be a vertical coil he's always been trying to sell me on vertical coils and, and I've been very reluctant to even to even explore vertical coils I just I just don't like vertical coils, okay? Stop forcing them on me, Stan. But no, I got this Reverie RDA. I installed a single coil in it. I wicked it, it's real easy to wick. And I started vaping it and I started enjoying it. I started enjoying a vertical coil RDA. What has the world come to? It does give me a pretty good vape. It's not perfect. It's got a few little quirks and weird things about it. And uh, since it's an RDA, I do wanna go full up close and put a new build on it so let's do that now go all right yeehaw well let's take a quick look at this reverie rda 24 millimeters around i've got the squonk pin installed it's a nice protruding 510 squonk pin designed by stan reverie right there 810 drip tip adjustable afc right here and you can kind of see underneath you have these holes right here and you can use any combination of these holes and these holes few holes more holes little holes and i think you can even rock it down to like just this hole and just that hole Boop, just like that, if you wanted to. I will say, right out of the gate, not a huge fan of this two-piece sort of top cap AFC design. These O-rings, they don't hold very well. This kind of just spins real freely on there. And I guarantee you 100% that you will get juice coming out of this seam. There's just simply no way to avoid it. Even if you are the most careful squonker and the most careful dripper that you have ever been, inevitably Inevitably, inevitably juice is going to accumulate right here and it's going to come out this bottom right here and it's just going to be made worse by every time you adjust your AFC or every time you pull this off juice there's just going to be juice everywhere and that's all one piece like I said 810 compatible now we're going to take a look at this deck Ugh. O-rings on the bottom are very nice, very snappy, and hold very securely. And believe it or not, there is a front and a back to this uh, to this top cap chamber right here. If you look all the way around the back, you're going to see this little notch right here. Well, that's going to line up with that little notch right there. And you'll notice on the front, there is no notch. You basically always want this little reverie engraving at the smaller side, at the front, I guess, of the RDA. It needs to go on like this. And I, and I look through the top to make sure, uh, boom, yeah, now, now it's good. It won't go on the other way. In fact, you can see my O-ring got, uh, I don't know, got a little bit, uh, Got a little bit shredded there. But wait, there's more. So as you can see, it's a single vertical coil uh, RDA made for squonking, made for drippin'. Drippin' works good both ways. In fact, you can unscrew this juice well completely off. And so you're just left with this little guy right here, which you can screw down onto a mod. I screw it down onto my little, uh, you know, old school building station here. You can do your building and you can do your wicking. It makes it much easier to wick a vertical coil this way. Stan did a great job having that removable juice well for wicking that's a that's a brilliant idea and these are just flathead screws right here and these coils are so easy to install I'm just gonna pop this one out of here and install a new one real quick just to show you how easy it is this is a fiends uh, alien something or other anyway pop it out there's your deck I am going to grab one of these coil turd aliens in a dual configuration they're supposed to come out to a 0.09 to a 0.11 but we're we're just going to be using one and one thing we have to do first with our coil obviously our coil can't go in there with the leads going in the same direction so you kind of have to do one of these numbers and get your get your leads going in the opposite direction one going one way one going the other and then quite literally all you do is just drop it into place boop just like that 
That That's literally it. Now you screw down your screws and tighten those leads down. And you can use one of the included sort of uh, ceramic posts to, I don't know, you know, keep it in place, keep it straight while you're screwing these down. Super easy. Also super easy. Snugged down, snugged down, looking good, installed. And then you clip, and then you clip. I clip whatever's left there. I didn't leave myself a lot of, uh, a lot of lead there to clip off. Ugh. Yeah! I'm actually just gonna throw this onto my Dreamer mech real quick so I can kinda pulse it, strum it, pinch it, get those glowing evenly. The technique that I use for getting my coils to glow evenly is I do very rapid pulses while strumming at the same time. You just keep doing this. Keep doing this and it will eventually just glow flawlessly, perfectly evenly. Glowing, glowing perfectly, perfectly evenly. And now you can just wick it. I have uh, a pre-cut piece of uh, Cotton Bacon Prime, which is kind of my cotton of choice lately. Let's uh, speed up this process here. And it's kind of off to the side, but that's basically a done deal right there. Now, I've been fiddling around with uh, wicking it and putting the wick on the other side, putting wick on one side, trying to separate the wick and put a little bit on both sides. I found uh, it honestly doesn't really matter where the wick goes as long as you have some wick down in that juice well and some wick poking out of the top here. Gonna be using it on this uh, Lazy Vapors Squonker box mod. When I squeeze it, you can see, yeah, the juice is gonna come up like that, but we're not going to squonk it all the way just yet. We're going to put this top cap on so you can really see that hot squonk in action. Now I think we can give it a little bit of a squeeze and you're just going to see this whole chamber kind of uh, flood with juice. It goes up surprisingly high onto the coil. I was worried about dry hits with this. If you have this on a squonker, you do not need to worry about dry hits because you can really squeeze this and soak that coil and soak that cotton. Bloop. Just like that. Let go. Goes back down. Doesn't leak out. Doesn't leak out. You can kind of see even the very tippy top of this cotton has gotten wet. It has wicked up to the top. So I'm just going to give it one more hard squonk right there. Oh, I'm running out of juice. And I know that after those two squonks, this is already going to be nice and wet. So I can hit that button and it's going to start producing the vapors. I rock my AFC full, full open. I want uh, as many airflow holes as possible open. So yeah, there you go. That's the Reverie up close and personal. Let's do this. Let's get back up to normal view. Let's vape this thing. Yeah, dude. So a few things I really like about this RDA. I think it looks cool. Aesthetically, this is very appealing to me. I kind of like the way the airflow looks. I like the way he designed the top cap. I like that it's 810 compatible. It's just a real aesthetically appealing RDA to me. I do also really like that deck. It is the simplest single coil deck, vertical coil deck that I think I have ever come across. And the ability to kind of unscrew that deck out of the juice well just for a little bit easier building and wicking experience I think is a I think is a great addition to this RDA at full open I really like the airflow on this it is plentiful it's a little bit restricted but it is very very smooth and swooshy and as you saw in the up close the airflow kind of comes in like goes into the inside of the deck that airflow is real close to your coil the combination of that and then the the small chamber on the inside translates into some pretty stellar flavor from this. Even full open, even the most airflow you can get still gives me real nice flavor. It's just a very satisfying, flavorful vape experience. I was using this as a dripper for a while, and I really like it for a dripper. You can just blow your juice right through the top. It's going to hit the top of that cotton and go right down onto your coils. I was skeptical. I mean, 
really very skeptical of this on a squonker, but I'm glad. I am happy and glad to be proven wrong on that. Squonking this is just a fantastic experience. I can give it like one big squonk, and I know that chamber's just getting full of juice, and it doesn't come out the airflow holes because of the tiny little holes, and then you let go, and the excess juice gets sucked back down, at least in this squonker. I shouldn't say that because, you know, that's kind of not a universal thing. Not all squonkers will recycle the juice, and I feel like the Reverie RDA is going to benefit from being on a squonker that recycles the juice, because you're gonna flood that whole chamber with juice, and you need to suck down the rest of it. Dig it. Dig the vape experience from this RDA a lot. A few things I'm not in love with this RDA, it's difficult to adjust your airflow. And I don't mean it's difficult physically to adjust your airflow, I mean it's difficult visually to adjust your airflow. The top cap is black and underneath on the AFC is also black and the holes are very, very small. So you kind of have to really get in there and really look and see exactly where your holes are lined up. The other problem that I have with this RDA is I, I can't stand this two-piece top cap design. It's one of my least favorite design elements in any RDA, not just the Reverie, but in any RDA, the two-piece top cap really, really bums me out. And it's because you will inevitably get juice all across the top of it, and when you pull this off or put it back down to adjust your airflow a little bit, this little seam right here is just caked in a nice little juicy layer of e-liquid. It's literally unavoidable. And the O-ring that holds this little top part on it isn't the strongest O-ring dry, and even when you get liquid on it, it becomes looser and looser and looser, and even when you get your airflow dialed in, Boom, right there, exactly how I want it. This just swivels real very effortlessly with the littlest bump, or if it's in your pocket and you grab it, you could pull this off, you could fuck with your airflow. You're gonna have to readjust your airflow quite often because this just spins around like, like crazy. And it spins around because that O-ring has lubrication on it because juice gets in there and the more that this spins, the more juice comes out of the seam and it's just a, a vicious cycle of liquid and spinning and liquid and spinning. So I find myself grabbing this rag and wiping all the juice off of here, getting the top cap, wiping all the juice out of the inside, and then kind of putting this back on, relining up my airflow, and there, now we go. Now we have a clean atomizer with no juice coming out of it, although I know inevitably there's going to be more juice coming out of that seam. So let's get down to brass tacks here. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you're interested in this Reverie RDA from Stan, Mr. Tenacious TX Vapes? Eh, not really. Clicking around the internet and on Stan Tenacious TX txvapes.com on his own website. It's about 30 bucks, which is not really in vape budget hands territory. $30 price point almost falls into that. It's cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it out. I also really like the fact that Stan kind of designed this as its own unique atomizer, and it wasn't just like a single coil version of the Lucid RDA. I like that he thought of a brand new and unique deck for his single coil atomizer. But leakiness aside, two top cap airflow aside, I really, truly do enjoy the vape experience that I get from this. If we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have literally nothing left to vape with, is the Reverie RDA something I would seek out and buy right away? Here's the thing, with a few design changes to this, it would be a no-brainer. It would be a no-brainer to me if he got rid of this two-piece top cap design. To me, that's almost a deal breaker. Overall, I think Stan did a pretty banging job with this RDA. And like I said, I really, really do enjoy the vape experience I get from this. But anyway, it is what it is. That's enough rambling from me. This is the Reverie, and I can never, I always want to call it the Lucid because 
I associate, pardon me, I associate Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes, with the Lucid RDA. It was like the first thing he came out with right out of the gate. So it's like Stan, Lucid, 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 Stan, Lucid, Lucid. You know the Lucid? And Stan does that like, what's up guys, Stan? Just a very animated fellow, I guess. But it's Reverie, the Reverie RDA. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow links to external vape shops anymore in the description to videos. So you'll have to use your Google Foo, but it is available on his website, tenaciousTXVapes.com, like I said, for about 30 bucks. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.